Now to a growing controversy here in Houston, the state legislature now getting its first look at a bill that could affect the future of the Astrodome. That measure was introduced today during the 85th legislative session. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes traveled to Austin where State Senator John Whitmire filed that bill to rare bipartisan support. Sion? And it looks like that new bill is setting up a new battle over the Astrodome. It's their money. It's not the county judge's money. It's the people's money. And let them decide. A rare showing of bipartisan support in the Texas Senate Tuesday with Republicans joining Democrats. I support the Astrodome. However, I don't think this is the right way to get there. All of them backing State Senator John Whitmire's new bill, which he calls the Harris County Taxpayer Protection Act. What in the world is wrong with a referendum before you spend in excess of $100 million. If approved, it would require Harris County go back and get voter approval on commissioner's plans to spend $105 million to raise the Astrodome's ground level to install 1,400 parking spaces. Flooding has to be addressed in Harris County with some of these dollars instead of the proposal at the dome. This is a classic case of the state government uh, pretty much interfering with the local government trying to do its job. Harris County Judge Ed Emmett says he is ready to fight the bill and that Whitmire has it all wrong. He's been in the legislature almost as long as the Astrodome has existed, so he d does know that history, but, but he, I just think he's confused. We had a path forward to turn it back into a revenue-generating facility that could help everybody. This puts all that on hold. So if it puts the dome on hold, then all the conversation about maintaining and upgrading NRG Stadium, that gets put on hold because we don't know what our revenue is going to be. And Whitmire says he is hoping his bill is approved and becomes law in time for this issue to appear on the November ballot. Reporting live from Austin at the state capitol, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.